I'm sure y'all have seen me just whip up this food. Let's take a first bite while it's still hot. So let me tell you what it is. So we got a Hawaiian roll. We got uh, some lettuce underneath, some grilled onions, smash patties, and chipotle cream sauce. And then I also put some Parmesan on top of the bun. Toasted it on there. Like, do y'all see this? I don't know if y'all see this, bro. Ready? Cheers. Mm. This is restaurant quality. Fire. I almost put two patties on one bread, but I just separated it. Also got sided mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A that didn't finish for lunch. If you're hungry, get some food. If you can. I usually only eat like, um, like more typical African-American type mac and cheeses. I don't usually eat like the more creamy ones, but Chick-fil-A is a solid creamy one. Chick-fil-A sponsor me. You know I got the Trader Joe's on deck too. I ain't even gonna cap. Fire. All right, we got some ranch. Courtesy of Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna grab a spoon for my chili crunch. I'm like, damn, where'd it go? I almost used it all. Or maybe someone took some, I don't know. The heck? I really don't remember using all that. No cap. Right, let's fuck this burger up a little more. Mm. Next bite, it's gonna be crazy. This one has no onions. I think I'm gonna put some onions on here. <laughs> Mac and cheese one. Fire. Messy though. The onions are slipping and sliding. Yo, I'm going to Coachella on, when is it? I'm going on April 12th. And at first I was going to take my mom's car because she has like a bigger CRV. Because if you don't know what Coachella is, Coachella, you basically camp there. So I'm like, in my car that I have, it's like a smaller car. It's like a regular size sedan. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it with my car, but honestly, I think I am. I think I can do it with my car because I feel like I just wanna use what I have. And I've been wanting to take my car on like a little trippy trip. So I think I can use my car because we don't have to sleep inside of my car. Like I don't have to sleep in my car. I'm literally gonna be camping so I can have like, I can sleep in the tent. So I'm like, I want to take my baby. You know? 
Plus, my mom loves her car, so I kind of don't. When I take her baby, you know, when I have a car. You know? Like, I feel safer taking my car to Coachella than my mom. This is busting. The meat, because the smash is so, like, flavorful. I'm pretty faded. <laughs> Took some hits before this. That bite was immaculate. But, um, y'all be watching on basketball? LSU's out. Women's basketball. Women's college basketball. Come on, Trader Joe's. I got the Trader Joe's alkaline water. Trader Joe's sponsoring me. Like, what are you doing? Come on. Mm -mm. Is just mirror? Does food get better the more you eat it? Like the first bite, I'd be like, <clears throat> then I keep eating it, and I'm like, mm. the flavor starts like coming out. Fire. Fire. <laughs> hmm. Should I do it? I'm gonna eat some. Let me get the crust on this one. I'm on spring break, y'all. I have never needed a spring break more than this this time around. I forgot what it felt like to not wake up and think about school. It's marvelous. <clears throat> Truly, I'm gonna fuck around put some mac and cheese on top. The rest, we're living large. Cause I'm gonna eat it anyway, so like, why not put it together? Oh yeah. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, spring break, you know, I, I'm i doing it, but sometimes I'm like, man, school is too much. I think I like that I dropped it. I like learning. It's just that sometimes, like, the workload is too much, you know? I think 16 weeks of multiple meets a week of straight schooling assignments energy oh my god ignore that it's a lot i wish i could learn in like a different way that wasn't so like draining of my energy it'll come though but for now we persist and we enjoy the spring break while we have it um literally i've just been in the house recharging didn't have any energy had to like take the weekend to really like yeah rest i'm gonna just do it it's a little dry it's a little colder now because it's been 10 minutes but i'm glad the second one doesn't have cheese well i put mac and cheese but i ate the one with cheese first with a lot of cheese first, so it was hot. Mm. Go crazy. The mac and cheese in there is crazy. But uh, spring break, huh? Hey, mommy, you sexy. Hey, mommy. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, mommy. You beautiful. Hey, mommy. You sexy. Can I get that number? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. <clears throat> I'm body in this. Y'all, I've been wanting to do food challenges. I love food. I love food. Um, I love food. So, should I do it? <laughs> should I really do it? I already have a challenge in mind. Y'all tell me to do my food. Enjoy my food that I make. One thing I didn't make was the bread, mac and cheese, and the chili garlic. I made the chipotle cream, <clears throat> made the burger, prepped the veggies, caramelized the onions. I wanted um it should be fire with um a pepperoncini like in and out fire I'm getting a little foil like comfortably full where I'm like chilling and I did just smash like half a thing of mac and cheese <clears throat> and two burgers you know <laughs> nothing major. <laughs> But also, the challenges I would do well, the one I have in mind next, it's like a lot of protein. I think um, I would only really do like protein tailor challenges, like. Or it has to have something, some nutrient. Because, like, if I'm going to eat a shit ton of it, it better make me hit my protein macros for the day. And it better be hella nutritious, like, hella veggies, hella grains, herbs. You know what I mean? So, I don't know if I would do, like, fucking, just, like, extremely, like, heavy, greasy shit and stuff like that. Maybe once in a blue moon, but... At least what I'm, what I have in my head that I, like, I want to pursue, food challenge wise, is like, literally like, fish, eating a bunch of fish. Y'all will see, cause I have an idea in my head, but I don't want to spoil it. Y'all will see. That'll be fire. Huh? It would be fire. Just wait, y'all. See what day I want to go. It's all tomorrow. Nah. Nah, unless, we'll see. Because I'm like, I have to be ready to eat all that. And to pay for all that. But I'm going to invest in myself and yo on YouTube and y'all. So it's okay. You know? That's the thing about at least me starting a food challenge. Maybe after places with... Let me do it for free, and if I win, you know, I keep, I don't have to pay. But for this challenge, or what if, it can go either way. Either way, I'm down. Hmm. The onion, the beef. Took me 17 minutes to smack her down. In the first few like minutes of the video, where I was like, I'm more silent 
because I just cooked. I've been hungry. So I'm just gonna smash it while it's hot and good and I'm hungry. God bless. I did that. <clears throat> mic going off. It's almost the end of the video, so I'm gonna turn off the mic. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Alright. see it says post post burger physique you know what I mean this setup is nice too y'all might like the further back the whole front table you might get that next time I just want to say thank y'all for eating with me for sure like I feel like y'all really don't have to be smacking with me and you do so i really wanted to say thank you i appreciate y'all and you know i hope that in some way shape or form i'm like inspiring you just to do what you want to do because you know i feel like i've been on youtube for a long time and sometimes i get bored of just doing the same thing or i feel like you know i'm really finding my my voice and what i like doing and right now food content is really it's really fun for me again like sitting down here and making this like eating video with y'all because it's not just the fact that I'm sitting down and eating like I had I got time to like meditate really just cook be in my own energy and then come sit down and like invite y'all into this like sacred thing that I'm doing for myself because I believe that feeding myself putting nutrients in my body you know giving myself energy is a is a spiritual like sacred theme you know and I'm inviting you in you feel me like to see what that looks like and um yeah hopefully spread some positive energy but uh, i really just wanted to flex like everything really but my uh <clears throat> my shoulders and stuff I, I really love my chest area i love my whole body but i'm a chest guy <sighs> you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but yeah um like a black a black person i'm like okay bye but i keep talking to you um or i feel like a human that loves to keep talking to people <laughs> i'd love to throw the oh it's because i'm black on everything because i really do because i'm black but sometimes i feel like people if we're a bit like digging a vibe we don't want to say bye yet so we keep talking i do it with my girlfriend i do it with my friends i do it with y'all right here i do it with myself you know what i'm saying just get stuck sometimes in the moment you don't want to leave yet <laughs> But, um, you know, I love you, like, for real, because, you know, like, people are just watching me and, like, letting me in, because you're letting me into your day now. You're letting me into your attention. You're giving me your energy. Like, thank you. I feel like, you know, yes, obviously, people on YouTube want views, but, like, I want views attached to making people feel good when they watch me like, i don't want views just to have views i want views to have people feeling good like i'll invite you into my day show you what i'm doing a little bit and you and you're giving me your energy and your your time so god bless you know like something as simple as just talking to me like you're my friend while i'm eating like you know what i mean like yeah i i honestly I almost call my stuff like a muck like mukbang culture Cause I, you know, I guess it is a mukbang, but I see it as like just me eating and talking with y'all. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes, the food is bomb, and like I want that's the you know what I'm saying that is a heavy part of the video and what I'm doing. But at the same time, it's just like the talking and connecting. I'm over here telling you guys about that I'm going to Coachella, I'm camping. I'm telling you about you know what I did today that I watched the basketball game. You know, Loki sad. I'm not even sad about LSU losing. I'm gonna comment on this once and for all. Um, 
I am my favorite team. Well, like one of my favorite teams, they're kind of, they're my favorite team. LSU and it's LSU and Iowa. I feel like I have love for LSU and Iowa equally as a team and like um, their work ethic at this point. So with this LSU versus Iowa game and women's college basketball that happened today on April 1st, um, I watched it live. I was like, I mean, this is a game. This is a serious game. It's about who's going to go on to the final four. And if you know the final four, the, uh, the NCAA, uh, the NCAA championship um, final four, that's the final four teams uh, in, in both um, conferences, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Like, anyways, yeah. Um, LSU lost, and I was kind of sad about it, but at the same time, I kind of wanted Iowa to win because Angel Reese, this is, um, this is possibly <coughs> Angel Reese's last season playing for LSU because now she's a senior and this is her fourth year, so she can extend her stay at LSU and stay five years, but she doesn't have to, so she could just go into the NBA, WNBA or just live her life and not choose to continue playing basketball for LSU, so... But on that note, like I said, um, they she and her team last year did win the NCAA championship. So she knows, she's felt what it's like to win um, the championship. Caitlin Clark on the Iowa team, they have not experienced um, a championship win. And Caitlin Clark is literally like the, she's the biggest basketball player on in the world right now. Or at least in, I'm not going to say in the world because there's probably people, other people that are maybe more skilled. They're just not televised. But I will say that in the in the aspects of college basketball and like NBA basketball, WNBA basketball, like on those terms, she's the best right now. Um, she's breaking records. Yeah. So I and it's her last year. So I think I she deserves to win. I now that LSU's out, I want Iowa to win. So you know, I'm I'm not that sad because I I have both I have love for both teams equally. So you know, one did go down. I was like, oh, okay, but at least there's still another goat team. Um, that can do it because LSU's GOAT team, they won it already. Now it's time for Iowa to win. The championship game last year was LSU and Iowa, and um, Iowa lost. So L Iowa was literally the second pick. You know, if they lost the championship, they were literally it's the same team as last year. So they're, they're just as great, if not greater. Um, yeah, so shout out to everyone that's out here doing their thing. But that's the end of the vid. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. Please go eat something, take care of yourself, nutrify yourself, you'll feel so much better. Like in the beginning of the video, I'd be hungry. I eat the food and I start talking and I get my energy back. I'm like, what about You know, so that can happen with you as well. Go eat whatever you wanna eat that's going to nutrify your body, that's gonna give you energy, that's gonna satisfy a craving, that's going to make you feel whole. Please go and eat that, um, hydrate. Drink your water, drink your Gatorades, drink your yerba mates, drink your drink your coconut water, drink your kombuchas, drink your sparkling water, drink your LaCroix, drink your Spindrift, drink your alkaline water, drink your regular water, drink your purified water, drink your lemon water, drink your strawberry lemonade, drink your orange juice, drink your Sprite, you know, like drink your drink, you feel me, like drink your drink, like I don't know what else to tell you, like drink your drink, bro, life's too big, life's too short, drink your drink, you know.